destroy for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. So they're going to reject you. And thou shalt be no more, no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power, of your power. I will also forget thy children. See? So we forgot the law of the Most High. That's why they say, I'm going to forget your children. That's why we born in this world and don't know the laws of the Most High. That's why it's so beautiful for those that are having children now and they, they're going to Sabbath class and as their, their children are being created in the womb by the Most High, they're hearing the laws of the Most High. What's right from wrong? They come into this world and they learn the laws of the Most High. That's what it says. As they were increased, so they sinned against me. They broke the Most High's laws. They sinned against Him. When you sin, you sin against the Most High. Therefore will I try and change their glory into shame. And he changed our glory into shame. What's our glory? The glory of the man is the woman. So he, he, our women are very shameful now. Have no, I mean, they just laying with anything and doing whatever thing needs to be. They think it's right. It's crazy. Sickening. I mean, really, look, 1 Corinthians 11 and 7. For a man, for a man ought not to cover his head as for as much as he is the image, image and glory of the most high. I must have got a shot. Let me, let me, let me get it. Our Bible is really, it's, it's well out y'all. So let me make sure I read it right. It's lucky. Let me go to another Bible. 1 Corinthians 11 and 7. For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. Meaning, you know, not deal with uh, not deal with the Mashakoshai with the head of the man. For as much as he is the image of and glory of the Most High. But the woman is the glory of the man. See? So that's why I say you're going to put our, our, our glory to shame. And our women been with our women been with every nation. Had our women, because we in captivity, they don't have any power over who they gonna lay with, they just did whatever they want to do to our women. You know, young women and old women, it didn't matter. Even little children. You know, they saw a little look, that's what they did. They saw here, it's what they did. How insignificant they thought of uh, uh, look at Joel three and four. Joel three and four. Yeah. I'll look at verse 3. Joel 3 and 3. And they have cast lots for my people. They bid it for the most high's people. And have given a boy for an harlot. A boy. They sold our little boys to be prostitutes. They prostituted our little boys. The little boy could do it himself. That's what they did. They sold them to each other for money. They have sex with them. Because a harlot is a prostitute. They sold our little boys to have sex with them. And sold a girl for wine, just for a bottle of wine. A little girl. Little boys and little girls that they might drink. That's what they did. So you think there's no payback for that? Oh yeah. It's payback, y'all. It's coming. But it's gonna come through the power of the most high. That's why we gotta have ourselves together, you know, and work to make sure we're able to see the kingdom. That's why it says in Galatians 6 and 7, be not deceived. Don't be fooled. Don't be operating under the power of the devil, deceitful and evil. The most high is not mine. For whatsoever a man soweth, whatever you do, that shall he also reap. You're going to reap the same. That's why we receive double, they going to receive double. That's the reap they got to follow. For the things that they have done and the iniquities that they have done, and as you see that today, without a shadow of a doubt. So let's go to uh, Matthew. Go to Matthew, the 
12th chapter. And let's look at how, through the Holy Spirit, we can cast out demons. Matthew 12 and 20. Matthew, go to Matthew the 12th chapter. And let's look at how they, they dealt with Masha Kelvisha. Let's we'll start at verse 22. We're going to concentrate on verse 28, though. We're going to read down there. Matthew 12, 22. Then was brought unto him one possessed with the devil. Blind and dumb. See? Then you know one possessed with a devil that was blind and dumb. But a lot of these people have demons in them, you say. Possessed with the devil. He was blind and dumb. And he healed him. And so much that the blind and dumb both spake and saw. And all the people were amazed and said, Is not this the son of David? Is not this the son of David? Talk about him, I said, come shot. But when the Pharisees heard it, they said, This fellow does not cast out devils, but by this word. There it is. I'm not even saying that. I, most I said, Next is 23, and we don't let them, these come out of you know, these names of these gods come out of your mouth. So y'all can say whatever. Let's, you see it there. He cast out devils, but by this demon, the prince of the devils, right? And the Master said, knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. See? Every kingdom. That's why we're so divided. That's why we can't come up because we're so divided. Every kingdom divided against itself shall be brought to desolation. That's why those that hear what he's saying and get rid of the division, the Master of said, not divided. So you say you're with him, but you're not with him because he's not divided. Every kingdom that's divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Listen. And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? So if Satan will cast out Satan, he divided against himself. How can therefore his kingdom stand? Say, and if I by as he called they, they put that in there, this demon cast out devils. By whom do your children cast him out? <laughs> it was the fair, he knew the Pharisees' minds. And he said, if I cast him out by this demon, I cast devils out by this demon, who do your children cast him out by? See, therefore, they shall be your judges. They're going to be your judges. And this, verse 28 is clear. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of the Most High, you see again. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of the Most High, then the kingdom of the Most High is coming to you. Or else how can one enter into a strong man's house and spoil his goods? A strong man, how you gonna go into a strong man's house and rob him? Except he first bind the strong man. You gotta tie him up. And then he will spoil his goods. Then he can rob his house. He that is he that is not with me is against me. And he that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. So either you with them or you're not with them. You're gonna scatter our people's minds, be scatterbrained, polluted, pollute their minds. If you don't hear what he's saying, come back to it. But how do he cast out devil by the spirit of the most high? So you gonna you got the spirit of the most high, you jumping around in the church like that, talking about you got the Holy Ghost, you got the Holy Spirit. That's gonna cast out demons. Nah, you ain't gonna clean them up except for through the word. That's the only way they're gonna be cleaned up. It's through the word of the most high. Understanding what he's saying, you gotta learn it, you gotta live it, you gotta apply it in your life. And this is what works. He's telling you. Look at Acts 8. But Acts the eighth chapter. Look 
que là... Look at verse, we're going to look at 18. Acts 8, 18, get right to the point. And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money. So he offered them money. He wanted to buy the Holy Spirit. <laughs> See, the Holy Spirit came in Acts the second chapter to only the Israelites. Not everybody. Understand, it tells you in Acts 2 and 5, and they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, <coughs> devout men, very spiritual men that followed the Most High out of every nation under heaven. So, in verse 9 down tells you the nations, the different countries that we came from. So now, this is what he said in verse 18 of Acts the 8th chapter. And when Simon saw that through, he's a sorcerer, this dude is a sorcerer, like a male rich. And when Simon saw that through laying on of the apostles' hands the Holy Spirit was given, he offered them money, saying, give me also this power. See? Everybody talking about spiritual power. The spiritual power is in understanding Baha Shama Mashat Shai, which is going to the Most High, which will give you his power, the spirit of the Most High, to do whatever it is that's necessary for the spiritual power. That's why I say, give me also this power. It's a spiritual power from the Most High. That on whosoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> he want to buy this. He won't give him some money to give it to him. <laughs> and he's a sorcerer. What he's going to do with the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Listen, but Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with you. Your money don't mean the damn thing to me. Your money pairs with you. Because thou hast thought that the gift of the Most High, the Holy Spirit is a gift, may be purchased with money. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter. For thy heart, your mind, is not right in the sight of the Most High. Repent therefore of this thy wickedness. Say, repent, ask for forgiveness of your wickedness. And pray the Most High, if perhaps the thought.